All right, welcome back to Inside the Vault. Here to join Jill Alonzo and me right now is GQ's Michael Haney. And we're going to play a little game of guess who between the three of us, which, right? Well, how I hard can it be? be I, I, I call this game Please Don't. <laughs> yeah, Please Don't. Okay, so I, here we I go. All right, here's, here's a few moments from our past. Oh. <laughs> that was a bad day sometime in the uh, early 80s when sleeves weren't that popular, and uh, I tried you know, it. crazy. I don't think you look that bad. I, I, well, thank I you, really girl. don't. You know what? I, I'm bad. almost calling that's not fair. That is not kinda, that far out right? there because I know that this is not going to be a good <laughs> moment for me. There's some worse pictures of I, you. I'm not saying a word. Look I'm thanking that. the I producer. feel it's only downhill from here. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh. That's, that, is that Jersey hair that big? It That's looks huge. like I should be on Jersey That's Shore. Big. One of my better looks. Here we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's, How about that? Okay, I'm very young there, okay? I got the Justin Bieber hair. Yeah. You know, it's all pulled forward, but uh, yeah. You actually look really say, current. That's pretty cool. Looks I, very I, current. You know well, what? you guys are kind. I'll come back to this show anytime. <laughs> Let's play this game some more. There we go. Oh. There's there America's there go. Look at that. favorite that football it. player right there, Signing baby. autographs I'm and everything. I'm signing my thigh pads. What the heck am I doing here? Wait, that actually is cool. I was I just telling you the coolest so athletes. Cool. This, is, this is in there, man. You're rocking it. You must look like Matthew McConaughey there. I think what Michael's oh, trying to tell that. me here is that I, my fashion has gotten worse. As gotten no. No. <laughs> look at that. You know, but the great thing about it, though, is having you here from GQ magazine. And I know that GQ has never, ever, ever made a mistake no, we in their perfect. advice to us, the American people, that relies on you so totally. Oh, Just like every guy, you know, you go to the store, like you buy this thing. Six months later, take it out of the closet. What the hell is this? So we have a column we do at GQ called, very honestly, GQ Regrets, where we, we regret telling you to dress like this. When you're walking around LA, right. do you sort of go, oh man, he needs a little of that, and he needs a little of that? Got some images we can show you. I think these are guys we, we found on the streets of New York. We got the before and after. All right, this guy, I mean, he's got a suit. He's basically, he could you know put a roommate in. Took him into the office of GQ. Put Looks him in like a, a suit. model now. Yeah, I mean, there, there's nothing different in that suit. It's simply fitting him a little better. And Alonzo, I know you're like, I can't wear a skinny suit. That is not a skinny suit. What I want to be real clear is that's a well-tailored suit. You work out all day, and then you basically walk around in a sleeping bag hiding this physique. I can't see myself in the after on that guy. I mean, I'm not 22. I can't wear something that skinny. Jill, what would you think if, if I showed up But it, it's not that... skinny. It's, Grr, it's, see? hot. Baggy does not e equal comfortable. Like, you can wear a well-fit suit, and it's still comfortable. I always compare it to suiting up for the game. You know, you wear a form-fitting suit. It's going to make you perform better. All right, now, how about this guy? No. Okay, this is a perfect example of something I call weekend update. He's this example of a guy... You know how many times you've been in Vegas? It's it's what's what I call the off-duty convention here. Like, well, I'm going to go out tonight. It's like I got my suit coat, my bad khakis, and I'm like, what convention? Those pants are way too baggy. Right. And I don't know anything about anything, but right. those pants are those too baggy. This, this is, is a perfect example. Yeah, that is that, not good. If you're going out at night, you don't wear the suit jacket you wore to the office. Get yourself a weekend blazer. That's a great cotton blazer that's made to wear casual. But if he were to raise his right arm <laughs> right now, if he was to raise his right arm, there explosion. would be an explosion. Yes. There would be buttons popping people's eyes out. You, man, I mean, you're going to make me stand up in a minute and counter and argue you. Do it. Do it. Do Let's it. Go, hold Come on. on. Let's go show it right here. here. I mean, look, like, okay, is this suit too tight? No. I think it was All right. But your suit isn't tight as his. If, it's no you, if you stood on one leg That's and you then now raise your other arm. Nothing's popping, right? Uh -huh. He's kind of got you see? on that one. But that guy, it looks like okay, it could happen. But, well, <laughs> let's, no, let's see. Let's do a comparison now. I can assume the pose. Seriously. And you could shift? Shift? There you go. Here. See? Are you going to do the moonwalk now? No, but it's comfortable. This is what I'm saying. This is comfortable. But I'm comfortable, with, too. Without OK, I'm not going to argue. I mean, you're an expert. You work for GQ. I tell mm. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Could I wear that suit as tight as that is looking at me now? I think, um, you know what? I honestly think that you could. Oh, I honestly, oh, we're just gonna strike a nerve. I'm this just looking. Bulb, I don't like think bulb. you couldn't because you've never done it. But I think if you had that suit tailored to your body, yeah, I think you, I could, think do you that. could pull I, it off. How did off, the fashion totally. episode become about me? Have you taken a good look at Chris? When did I? Chris when did I? Come we're checking out your finger. Don't be trying to like dump this back on me, big guy. All right, guys. Well, coming up, incredible access to one of the most secretive places in the auto industry. 
We're taking you inside the GM Design Studio, see how they decide what's going to be stylish years from now. Online right now at InsideTheVault.tv, Ask the Editor. Top experts from Details and GQ answering this question. Stylistically, what is the most interesting culture? The answers and more exclusive content at InsideTheVault.tv.